Hey everybody, <clears throat> Trail Dog Adventures here. Welcome to Death Valley. Hey everybody. We've got a little uh, book on history right here. And uh, some photos. So, I'm going to do a quick read of this sheet here. In 1886, A.G. Rhodes and his partners, or his partner, were prospecting um, near this site. In May of 1886, they removed 1,200 pounds of silver ore, which netted them $800. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the return trip in the fall of 1886, Rhodes and the prospective mine buyers apparently perished uh, somewhere in the desert between here and Daggett, coming out this way. So that was in 1886. In December of 1905, prospectors found uh, Rhodes location markers. They also found the mine workings and two tons of silver ore waiting for shipment. In September of 1906, several other claims were opened and the area uh, became a camp. So camp typically is a term for um, temporary shelters like canvas tents and such. Various prospects were worked over the years as surface mines until the financial panic of 1907. <clears throat> in March of 1908, three prospectors in the area found a gold deposit valued at $25,000 per ton. The find was later determined to be an isolated high-grade pocket as no further quantity or quality of gold was found despite extensive tunneling. <clears throat> So between then and 1908 and until the 1930s, um, there was little record of mining activity in the area. And then Lou McGurk filed his location notice here in 1935. Um, he may have developed the small cone crusher type mill up canyon. Mining activity continued off and on at a small scale until the 1950s. When um, that's when Death Valley National Park ended up taking over the area. <clears throat> so we did a walk this morning, and you'll see the video of uh, what looked like a mill site, and apparently, um, apparently it is. And some of the other uh, places here on the property, I'm not too sure what they were. I haven't seen any pictures or record of them. Um, but that did definitely look like a mill site, and we did see the cone. Uh, it was just not in this area of the, uh, the mill site. All right, well, this building's seen better days. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looks domestic, obviously, as it's a wooden structure. It's right off the edge of this wash. But you can see there's a bed frame there. And a gas heater. All it was was just basically propped into the ground for a foundation. Yep. So, and then we've got their stove. And some gas. Control knobs and an oven. Here's a back view of the heater. 
It's kind of funny that the whole building fell down with the heater standing up in the middle of it. It's like an old comedy thing with the guy uh, standing there in the wind and the building falls and he goes through the window. So that's this building, just an old sheet metal wood frame shack. And we just, uh, down there by where the fallen building is, we just went and hiked up that wash that leads to the building. There's some, uh, there's a little bit of diggings in the side of the hill. Uh, very short though. Um, cans and stuff. But we went further up and then hiked across this ridge here and then back down. And then past that, we can't find any other workings. Um, I don't see any any waste dumps, trails, uh, can dumps. So it doesn't look like they did anything on this side. But I do know that in the next canyon over, they were doing a lot of surface mining. So, And there's some uh, other mining structures over there, that, well, what's left of them. We're gonna go over there and check that out. But uh, last time we were here, we didn't get into this area because it was hot. And wanted to see what was going on on this side. So apparently the cabin obviously was located at the spring that's just next to it. So uh, just thought we'd check out the area see what this thing's about because there was a number of years of activity up here and you never know and plus time kind of washes uh, things away so let's go check out the other side all right uh, i just wanted to shoot this real quick since we have a higher perspective here right down here is the spring that they got their water from. We'll go check that out here in a minute. Do have some hoses connecting down into there. But this wash that runs down here, there are remnants all the way down the canyon. I don't know if they were washed down or they were just dropped where they were working the, uh, work on the wash, but apparently they were doing some panning in there and I don't know if you can see it glistening, but that whole area right here, that's a dump area. There's tons of cans and glass and a couple barrels. But that wash runs all the way up that direction towards where the other mining activity was. And that's where we're going next so we got to pop down and get some water and I'll show you the spring on the way and then we'll head up there and here's where the spring starts and you can see this big tree has been taking advantage of it. But it's the only grassy area 
within sight and it runs down this direction towards these other trees and I know it's dry but it's enough to for grasses to want to grow I don't know what this is but it's threaded so that was probably a part of their uh, little well set up for the for the uh, spring here so come and then it runs down here to this last tree which is Looks like it's barely surviving. But you can see the grasses continue. This is the tallest structure right there. The tallest thing in the area. That's not rock. Then it runs down here. And they had some hoses that ran off over to the building. You can see one of them still there. And there's our America flag. Ah, uh, yes. The mighty hunter. Almost took me down when he went after that thing. And I thought we were done. Almost done with that one. You ready? Ugh. All right, time to drag the dog off. Got his little tongue sticking out. All right, that's enough. We're going. There's supposed to be a mill site somewhere around here, a small one. I'm wondering if this might be it. With the concrete floor. Got a rock foundation. But there's nothing else here to really explain what this is. See, there's a bunch of cans over here where Toby's going. But there's really nothing else other than a slab here to tell me what's going on. And we've got a parted out car here. It's 
So there's a few like pipe parts there. So I'm guessing this might be it because uh, we've got a little, we've got some stuff up the, uh, just up the wash here. We're going to go check out. It's probably tied to it. Well, I'm sure it is. the site up the hill here and we've got this concrete basin I don't know what they exactly use this for but obviously it's sealed off for some sort of liquids you can see in all the corners they've got some steel angle, angle iron so they had something on top of here and And I need to put this heavy piece of channeling in here. That thing's hard core here, so. Maybe it was for a pump? I don't know. But they ran off this way. You can see the cut in that little ridge right there. And then they ran everything down here from the other side where they were doing some uh, surface mining. But, looks like they used to have a chute here. See the uh, concrete? This combination of wood and steel and the supports there. And then they've got this big tank with the piping running to it. And I don't know what that is. So, I don't know if this was a the mill site, or if it was just a way to get the ore down the hill. So, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll find out. But, that's a, I got a six by six post there, and then that's all steel. So, all right, we're gonna go run up here, and then there's one other piece of the puzzle that'll still leave it as a mystery for me until I figure out otherwise. So let's run up there, check it out. All right, they did some uh, surface mining up this wash here, and it looks like it gets a lot of water. There's some light building materials over there for some reason but we came up here to check out this thing this cone this is for a part of the process uh, for the milling I just don't know where the rest of the structure is being that this is in a big wash too I don't know why this was, would be in the middle of the wash because nothing's flat over here. And it's upside down. I don't know if it was relocated over here. Maybe they meant to truck it out from over there when they scrapped everything and they just decided to leave it. But it's got rivets. The mounts are riveted on. It's got a good buildup of uh, rock around it from the wash. So, I don't know. Kind of curious. There's nothing in here looks like it would be a common data structure like this. So, 
we were just over there where the uh, where it looks like a mill site uh, on the slope with the concrete and stuff so I'm wondering if maybe that's where it came from so I don't know I thought this was a pretty cool barrel you can see it's riveted and it's got these side braces on it you can see on the bottom side it's all riveted too that's pretty cool these look like rail ties Well, they did a hell of a job bending them around this barrel. You can see the seam is riveted too. More rivets. Those are more modern. It's welded in. Those little pipe connectors. But we came to get a lower view of this the milling area so there's that detention basin up there and there's just the post and the steel structure and then we've got some concrete down below then we got these other tanks down here all right here is a closer look at the uh, concrete foundations of this little site you can see that they had uh, this wall had cables put into the concrete to help support it Right there is the little staircase we found that helped us get down this loose slope. We got a drain going out here, which apparently led into this little custom trough and then into the tank and then it's got another pipe out on the other side and I'm thinking that I went into that box or tank or whatever that thing is alright that is a tank there's a hole cut in it so nothing gets trapped in it you can see it's just a bunch of deposits in there from the processing. And there's the tank that it comes from. And you can see the same. The deposits have been falling out of the holes in the side. So that's what that is. How it went from here, I'm not too sure, but this thing's riveted also. So, I don't know if that's just out of cost convenience or the time. Was, I believe when this was built or set up, it, we're talking early 1900s, so there was various mining going on up here by different people so it could have been old and reused so that I don't know so here we go here's another shot of that stripped out flipped over vehicle a lot of steel on this thing
All right, here's my bad dog. He just almost pulled me over chasing a lizard again. The lizard's been out everywhere since we uh, since it warmed up. So here's another shot of that flipped over, stripped down vehicle. Lots of steel. Obviously, it's been there a while. And I'm assuming that that's the hood. So, and right in the middle is wash. So, time will catch up with it. Here's my little jerk. Yeah, you're a jerk. All right, well, not exactly sure what they had going on here, but we've got a bunch of wood. We've got a heater, an old gas heater. And it, it like levels off right around here. So it looks like a waste pile. And I'm thinking that it might have to do something with this. So, I'm not sure, but I think this was his well. It's right next to the spring. You see there's some piping down here. So, I'm thinking this is where he dug down to get better access to the water because obviously what you saw before it um, doesn't really bubble up onto the surface and it looks looks like the soil's wet down there so unfortunately we've got a collapse But this may be all the material that he dug out of that hole for the well. And we just got another dump pile here. And we've got a little retaining wall there and I have no idea why. So, maybe we had another building here. Maybe he had a pump house or something. So, there we are. Here's another view of that heater. and the well and spring and our flag all right there's the shack that's our home for the next uh, night and we're on a two-night stay so fun place <laughs>